What's going on folks? Well, we are here at the shop. It's been a minute since I've done a shop video. Um, this is back. I'm a whiskey drinking SOB. If you don't like that, then you won't like me. I'm an outlaw. I said I'm an outlaw. It was in one of my videos oh, six months to a year ago. It's a don't quote me on this, it's a 46, seven or eight Chevrolet fleet line. Um, reason I say six, seven or eight is they all pretty much look the same except for a couple of trim items. And uh, I'm not real sure which one is which, but anyways, the owner knows, I think it's a 47 to be exact, but it's back. Um, it looks a lot different than it did the last time it was here. Uh, it's got all the little trinkets all put on it now the sun visor, the spotlights, the front fenders, hood, what we call a doghouse. Um, it's got a motor and transmission in it now that the owner himself put in. Oops. Hood binding up as it opens. Uh, it's got motor and transmission in it. Uh, it's got a small block Chevrolet in it. I'm not real sure, probably a 350. Um, it's all there, everything's all hooked up with the exception of a couple of little things and that's the reason it's back is for us to do those little things to it we're going to do uh we're going to be doing some wiring we're going to be doing some uh plumbing of the transmission cooler plumbing of the gas lines um you know just lots of finish out stuff finish out wiring the front end of the car the headlights uh you know stuff like that and uh it's airbagged which is the reason it's so low so uh, i don't have any air accessible today so I can't run it through its motions for you and let you see it, but I will in a future video for sure. Um, we did an, a, a, a quite a bit of work to this car way back when it was here before. Um, we did, we boxed the front half of the frame. We put a Mustang two front suspension under it with airbags, rack and pinion steering, disc brakes, drop spindles. Um, we did, all the rear end we used a kit from a company called Jimenez Brothers on the rear end it's a triangulated two link uh, with air ride we used Jimenez Brothers step notch we used um, I'm not exactly sure what rear end we used under it I want to say that Justin told me it was a Trans Am but I'm not 100% sure uh, but anyways like I said it's triangulated two link on bags in the back we restructured a lot of the floor uh, between Justin and I, because I did some and then Justin did some, that's the owner, Justin. Uh, we brought the uh, transmission tunnel up for the drive shaft to clear. We had to redo some of the area in the back where the uh, back seat was at to compensate for the step notch. Uh, here at the shop, we did, give me just a second so I can get it open. Here at the shop, we did all this new stuff in the floor. We put a partition between the uh, inside of the car and the trunk of the car. We did, uh, we raised the trunk floor to allow for, you know, the step notch and all that stuff to clear and the airbag stuff to clear. We got rid of the old original Chevrolet gas tank and put a late 60s Mustang gas tank under it. Everything all unbolts out under, under the car in one piece. And, uh, you know, did all the seam seal, did all the uh, lining on the floor and on the inner fenders and all that stuff so it looks all nice and pretty in there. Um, all new tail lights, wiring from tail lights all the way up to the dash is pretty much done. We still got to do the motor. Wiring up the motor, wiring up the headlights. Um, not really sure exactly what all we got to do until I dig into it. Um, basically, today's Monday. The car's been here since Thursday and I didn't work on Friday, so haven't really got a chance to get into it but uh that's pretty much the car this right here is a frame that i've been working on off and on over the past uh, two or three months it's for a 1927 t coupe um this is the rear back here this is the front up here we did a uh, a z in the front so that way we can get the car down nice and low from the side the car will appear like it's got a uh, what they call a channel a channel is when you cut the floor out of the car raise the frame up into the car and then put a new floor in it but when you do the z notch like this 
basically this is where you would raise the floor to if the frame ran all the way back. But with the Z in it, the front, the cowl and stuff of the car sits right here. Sits right about there where my hand is at. So all this looks channeled, but you don't lose the room inside the car in the back with the Z notch. Plus it makes the car lower, um, you know, lots of things like that. Um, we got the outside perimeter frame done and we're down to putting in motor mounts, tranny mounts. As soon as I get all that stuff done, then we'll start setting up rear suspension, front suspension, etc. Uh, I'm gonna step out here and show you the body that's actually going on it. Here's the body for it. Uh, again, like I said, it's a 1927 T coupe body. It's in really rough shape, but it's nothing that I'm scared of. We can fix it, we can make it up, we can make it look good. So nothing really there that I'm too, too, too worried about. Um, I'm thinking this particular customer is going to want to go ahead and do a chop on it. Uh, if I get my way being the builder and he goes with what I suggest, we're going to do probably a six to an eight inch chop on it, bring those windows down a whole lot lower that roof down. And a quick view from the other side. Um, it's sitting on a cart. That's why it's sitting all crazy crooked. One of the tires is flat on my cart, but you know, you get the point. Um, like I said, the car is really rough needs new firewall needs lots and lots and lots of details here and there but you know again like i said nothing i'm scared of doing so it'll get there and then lastly we got melissa's son steven's truck over here uh, steven works for me in case i haven't mentioned that before and uh, right now he's currently working on putting a throttle pedal i mean sorry throttle pedal gas pedal uh, throttle cable kick downs all that stuff in the truck um, we've had it inside the shop for the past two weeks I guess running brake lines gas lines stuff like that um, I'd open the hood and show you underneath the hood the motor and stuff like that but we've got all this junk on top of here so that'll be a time for a different video because there will definitely be more video of this too when it goes a little bit further it's kind of on the uh, it's been on the back burner for quite a while but now it's on the fast forward track to uh, trying to get it done and get it on the street he needs it to drive back and forth to school and back and forth to the shop. So we're kind of fast forward and trying to get things together. Some of the stuff that we've done to Steven's truck, uh, like I said, I've already iterated this once in one video, but some of the stuff that we've done to Steven's truck is we've lowered it extremely. Uh, it was basically a 100% stock old farm truck when we got it. Uh, we've lowered it completely, changed out the wheels and tires. We put a, 91 Cadillac rear end in it in the rear and put a pair of 15 by eight and a halfs in the rear uh, wheels chrome steelies with the uh, pinner whites up in the front we've uh, converted it all over to disc brakes originally they had drum brakes uh, it's been converted up in the front to disc brakes we've got it lowered down extremely low in the front we've done a lot of little I mean it doesn't look it but we've done a lot of paint work we've painted all the inner fenders up underneath the truck we've painted all the frame from the cow ford so when you look underneath the truck it's all nice and clean uh painted the bumper painted the grill the grill's inside the shop over there somewhere uh, motor is basically the same color as the bumper uh with orange accents uh, very little to no chrome just because we tried to do something a little bit different um, inside for right now we're still running the stock steering column and steering wheel Painted up all the dash. We got a, we made a new dash cluster for it to put new modern aftermarket gauges in it so everything works. Got a brand new gas tank in it. It's got a low car shifter that he's in the process of putting here in the next couple of days. Um, in the rear, we've wrapped the frame. We've step notched, I'm sorry, C-notched the frame. Did a lot of work on that cross member right there to make things work, make shock mounts work, etc. cetera. Uh, it'll have all new floor bed going in it, or bed floor going in it. Uh, gonna fix all that rot up there. We're gonna fix some of the rot in the bottom of the bed But for right now the truck is pretty much gonna stay This patinaed look because he's a college kid and he doesn't have a lot of money. We smoothed off the back of the tailgate Got rid of the uh, Chevrolet script got rid of the big opening that's right there in the tailgate uh, We've gone in and modified the tailgate originally these guys had uh, chain mounts on them that hung right here and you have your chain hanging down so when you put a nice pretty paint job on it and you're driving down the road the chain does this and scratches the paint off and we didn't want to do that because eventually it'll have a nice pretty paint job so we converted it all over to like a new modern truck with 
cables like a uh, new modern truck tailgate has. I don't know. That's pretty much it. I'm trying not to take up too, too much video time here. So uh, I'm going to wrap it on that. We're going to have a uh, brand new Tackle Tuesday coming up tomorrow. I think we're going to talk about uh, soft plastic worms and stuff like that. I'm not for sure, but we'll get into it. Um, anyways, see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.